a vintage and antique hunter, every week I go out looking for special things to fill my elegantly knackered home. And this week is no exception. So let's dive straight in to show you what I found. Starting off with something that's absolutely massive. I really wanted to take you outside um, to show you this because this is where it's going to belong in my garden. But it's chucking it down out there. So here we are in the comfort of my living room. So to start off with, I'm not sure whether you can appreciate the massive scale of this bucket. It's huge. Now normally I sell galvanised buckets on my vintage website, Sutton and Daughters, um, but this is a keeper for me. I'm going to drill some holes in the bottom and plant it up with something really, really nice. So that's my first find and I was so, so happy when I saw that because galvanised things are getting harder and harder to find and I have a galvanised container garden so I'm always looking out for good pieces. Something else which I collect and you've seen many times before are these mirrors. So um, eventually when I have a bathroom upstairs I'm going to have a wall of mirrors. So this is just another one. They never have to be in a great condition. This one you can see has got some foxing but that's okay. I will display them on a wall either facing that way or that way and I've got all different types so again really really happy with that find. I'm always on the lookout for them. This is quite a plain one but you can get some really ornate ones as well. This does feel like de deja vu. I've got some more plates. So these are Art Deco plates which I um, have probably, I think for the last three weeks I've shown you. So a dealer on my local market is selling um, plates and cutlery and things and um, he's recently done a house clearance and he's got boxes and boxes to go through so every week if he finds any more of this beautiful Art Deco Royal Dalton set he um, saves them for me so I have more plates I've almost got the whole set now I'm not sure what else I'm waiting for more deja vu another press glass cake stand I absolutely love these if I see these out and about. This is again quite a plain one but that suits my utilitarian elegantly knackered style. I, I do like quite a, a utilitarian look so something else very happy with. When I finish my kitchen I'm hoping to have a shelf absolutely filled with um, pressed glass cake stands and then I better get baking. And the final thing sitting in this position is this little vase which is really sweet, a lovely pottery vase which goes with the aesthetic of my home and um, I just love hand thrown pots like this but for now it's found a place on my desk as a little pot holder which uh, is rather sweet. So that's it apart from I'm going to turn you round and take you over to my fireplace because I found a rather exciting fire bucket. Come with me found another galvanised bucket and this is a rather special one. It's a British rare one so I'm going to keep it here in my ingle nook as a fireside utensil holder. And there you can see the BR for British rail and this paint is the most gorgeous green and it's original to the bucket. That's another super find. So that's it from um, before I go, I did want to show you a couple of things that I put on my vintage website this week. I'll put the link to my website in the description below. But these are two special things which I think that you'll really like. So first up, there is this beautiful cast metal tea caddy. And I just think that that is so pretty. I couldn't resist that when I saw it. And I'd love to make a cup of tea using this either with tea bags or loose leaf so that's gone onto my website and also along the tea theme this is so so pretty and again I just couldn't resist it the reason why I'm selling this is I do not need another teapot but look look how pretty that is so sweet I would just love to make myself a cup of tea in the afternoon and to accompany that there's actually the matching sugar and milk jug so again 
those are on my website and I will put direct links to both of those in my description. If you um, aren't in the UK, I'm always happy to post worldwide. You just need to contact me for a delivery quote. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that, please do remember to subscribe and I will see you the same time next week. Bye for now.